What's up friends, it's c 3 and I'm gonna show you where to put the microphone um, when you've only got one microphone and you're trying to record a live performance of an acoustic guitar with singing. There's kind of a sweet spot that picks up uh, an equal balance between the acoustic guitar and the vocals. I can tell you right now, you don't want the microphone to be behind you. Have come and gone like God on birds, the golden... Okay, so that means it's gotta be facing the front of you, right? So, where do you put it? Well, if you put it up higher, it's going to capture more of your voice and less of the acoustic guitar, like this. Cliche phrases to be heard Have come and gone like autumn birds And if you put the microphone too low, closer to the guitar, it's going to pick up mostly the guitar and not enough vocals. So the ideal place, you guessed it, would be somewhere in between the guitar and my voice. Um, it's pointed like right at my collarbone, basically about a foot and a half away from me. So it's not too close, but it's a great spot to capture the energy of the performance and have a good balanced sound between the vocals and the acoustic guitar. Cliche phrases to be heard Have come and gone like autumn birds The golden rule and all her friends I know that was kind of a no-brainer, but honestly, like, you watch all these covers on YouTube of people just doing a live performance of them singing and playing it, you know, the acoustic guitar and the mic is always just like sitting on a tabletop far away or too close to the guitar or whatever. So mic placement is extremely important when you're recording anything. Take five, 10 minutes and think about where are you putting the microphone? That's probably why you watch this video because you actually care. So I congratulate you for actually caring about where you put your microphone because it's going to make a huge difference in the way that your recordings end up sounding um, just based on where you put the microphone. Now if you want to make your recording sound even better, go ahead and check out this video. I'm going to show you how to mix your song once you've recorded it. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of EQ, compression, reverb. You can even use free software to do it. So I explain how to do that in this video to just touch up the recording a bit make it sound a little bit more professional. And that's it. Bye.